Hi, Statesman Nation. Welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. Today's guest is Jack Hartley, our newest member of the Statesman staff. He is the head women's uh, soccer coach. Coach Hartley, appreciate you uh, joining us for a few minutes. Glad to be here. All right, and, and working around my uh, crazy schedule here. So, all right, uh, we're going to get right into it. He's picked out his six numbers. He uh, has no idea what they are, but uh, what they correlate to, but we're going to find out real quick here. All right, Coach Hartley. Number four, who is your favorite athlete? Oh, current athlete. Um, oh, current or, you know, former. I mean, anybody, whoever your favorite was or is. Okay, my, my, so a guy, I don't know if many people would know him. Um, those who are big Liverpool fans would know him. Uh, Steven Gerrard was kind of huge for me growing up. He's only kind of recently retired and he's kind of moved into um, coaching and management now. Um, and so, you know, for me, he was super gritty, hard-nosed. Um, he was a workhorse, but he was super talented as well. And, um, you know, for the team that I support, he was he's a bit of an icon. So, yeah, yeah huge person for me growing up. Cool. Very cool. You know, I don't know who it is, but, uh, yeah, I'm not a huge <laughs> EPL fan. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, number eight, what is your favorite restaurant? So I guess all time favorite restaurant. Um, oh, that's a tough one because I'm a huge foodie. Um, yeah. I love to eat, unfortunately, which is, it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would probably have to say my favorite restaurant. I love Culver's. I know okay. it's not yeah. healthy, but I just, their burgers are amazing. Oh, yeah. Their ice cream or custard or whatever it is. I don't care what it is. It just tastes good. So yeah. I'll stick to that. What's uh, the favorite place back in England? Uh, um, they're not really like a chain. There's usually right. like um, these, these kind of pub grill things sure. and they usually do like really good food. Um, and, and so like good kind of steaks, good burgers, good, just everything really. So yeah, I kind of like that. Good shepherd's pie, good uh, fish and chips, you know, all that. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Well, but then a close second could be fish and chips. Right. If you go to a true fish and chip shop, that would be probably close second. Definitely, definitely. All right, uh, make sure I didn't skip it. Okay. All right, number 16. Uh, if there was a movie made about you, what actor would play you? Huh. Um... I mean, I would like maybe like a, like a Liam Hemsworth to play me, you know, Ooh, maybe nice. like a similar hairstyle. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, <laughs> I'd say maybe my current physique would maybe fit more like, a, I don't know, somebody not as toned. Well, he, he did get fat in uh, Endgame, so. <laughs> there you go. So, yes, him. So, perhaps he, he could kind of go up and down in, in weight depending on the stage of my life of the movie yes. <laughs> yeah that's a good one i like it all right uh number 20 if you could go back in time what year or time period would you travel back to uh i mean i don't know i feel like uh going back to maybe like the the 60s when everyone was just super carefree and nobody really was worried about the things we worry about today and right you know like in terms of the stresses of work and the stresses of of careers and stuff everyone just seemed to be way more kind of laid back and just focused on living in the moment and so yeah. perhaps i think i would maybe enjoy it then okay yeah very cool all right uh number 23 uh three-part question um what is your favorite time of day what is your favorite day of the week and what is your favorite month or time of the year so first off, favorite time of day? Um, I, I like kind of late afternoon, like sunset the time. Sure. Um, where the day is kind of winding down. That's kind of my favorite time of day. Um, favorite day of the week? Yep. Um, Friday. Okay. And Friday just right. because you've put a good shift in through the week and you know although for us coaches it's not necessarily the end of the week because the, the calls and the emails are still going out but right. you know i can um enjoy some time with uh, my family and my dogs and sure yeah and then uh favorite month or time of the year summer summer has to be summer when the sun's out love it i love it when it's warmer um 
you know, the, the winters are where I was before were maybe a little rougher than they were. But a little, a little more brutal than probably down here, I'm guessing, but they're, they're still going to be hoping, tough, so. Fingers crossed, you know, we yeah. might get hit with something huge, but, um, right. and so I don't mind the winters. Um, I like to ski. And so, you know, if I'm close to somewhere where I can use the snow, right. then it's great. But for the summer, I prefer the summer when the sun's out and it's sure. just, yeah, happier. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, well, this one might be a little past uh, due for, um, you know, our coaches who are maybe past their, their dream of being a professional athlete. But uh, I'll ask the question anyhow. Number 30, if money were no object and you could not be a professional athlete, what would your dream job be? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I really, I really like listening to music and stuff. And, and so, you know, I've maybe often thought, you know, in another life, if I could go back and do it all again, I'd maybe try and learn a few more instruments and maybe like produce music or something. That'd be kind of, it'd be, it'd be cool. Unfortunately, I'm pretty talentless when it comes to that. <laughs> stuff. Um, but perhaps if I'd have started when I was younger, I would maybe have, been able to have a crack at it who knows perhaps yeah maybe you could be the the next music mogul you never know you never know yeah <laughs> right okay well um you probably have tons of shout outs you want to do to people all over the place so um here's your chance to uh um give them a give them a little bit oh. of love so shout out to whoever hmm. i guess i never thought about this but i have seen some of the other videos but i've neglected to think about this before coming in so just off the top of my head Let's start with the missus. She's living there for me and, and she's moved across the country with me. So shout out to her first and foremost. Um, uh, Nick Rule for giving me a shot. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, Simon, the men's coach here, who's been helping me out a lot while he's while I have a lot of questions and I'm trying to pick up uh, a lot of new things. Um, and Paul, who's my current GA, who's been helping me out a lot as well. Um, my family back home who I don't get to see a whole lot but are obviously very supportive of me doing what I love here and uh, and so that would be that's I guess those are my shout outs there you go very cool well we are super excited uh, I know the season will be a, a bit shorter than we were expecting um, in the fall we're super excited to uh, to see uh, you coaching on the sidelines uh, we're in the navy and gold and uh, see what the women's soccer team can do in 2020. So once again, Jack Hartley, uh, the head women's uh, soccer coach here at William Penn. Thank you so much, coach, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You too. Right. Right. Thanks.